I am speaking to the former chief executive officer of Madagascar Football League. He's a sports consultant by name Urakoto Mirando. But uh, if you want to, to pronounce the, the full name, he's called Mira, um, Mirado Urakatoro Hamihelala. Good morning, <laughs> good afternoon, sir. <laughs> hi, hi, and hi, everyone. Yeah, actually, it's Rakuto Harimalala, but uh, let's try. Uh, I understand it's really long, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that, that, that yeah. is why, for short, the name is Urakoto Mirado. Okay. Mirado. Oh, Rakuto. I, I, ha I have a certain picture on, on, on my Facebook page. Is that you? Yeah, of course. Then, can, can I conclude that you are the ladies' man? Can you repeat, please? I don't understand the question. Can, per this picture I've seen, can I conclude that um, Rakoto is ladies man? You, you are very handsome. Yeah, you can. We can just uh, use Rakut. It's okay for me. Okay, so so you are, you are a ladies man. Yeah. That is wonderful. And the for my booty, you know, Papa, That's right. Anywhere that begins for, for Madagascar football, Afcon, um, Cote d'Ivoire, is beckoning. Looking at the group Madagascar, Madagascar finds themselves in, Ghana, Angola, Central African Republic. As a sports consultant, you've been the former CEO for the Madagascar National League. What do you make of the group that Madagascar finds themselves in? Before we continue. Mm. I think it's a tough group, uh, a little bit homogen, but uh, we know that uh, Ghana is the, 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 the best team in the group. It is, uh, uh, I think, uh, understandable if uh, they go through, so they are the favorites of the group. But then for the second ticket, we, we have to, to, to play hard. Uh, and to fight hard with uh, against um, Angola and uh, 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 Central Africa, I think uh, we will have uh, a really uh, exciting fight against Angola. So look, look, looking at the, at the group on, on the face of the, mm -hmm. of the pre sheet, who two countries do you think are likely to seal through? Uh, can you repeat, please? Uh, I have a bad connection. Can you hear me now? Yes. I, 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 yeah. I was asking that, looking at, at the group, who two countries do you uh -huh. think can sell through? I think, um, as, I, as I said earlier, that uh, Ghana definitely will be in the, the next AFCON. But then for the second ticket, it will be maybe between uh, Angola and Madagascar. We will try to, I, I know that uh, Madagascar will try to do their best to, to get this ticket because the last time we played uh, an Afghan, it was in 2019. And uh, we really would like to, to, to play uh, a final phase of, uh, of this tournament again. Like you just said, the last time was 2019. Now, starting this journey, mm -hmm. you are facing the Black Stars of Ghana, who you are just tipped mm -hmm. to, to win um, the group. How difficult do you see this game on Wednesday against the Black Stars? Ooh, it will be a really, really hard game. And uh, regarding the context, like, you know, we will play the game on 1st of uh, June. Uh, the Madagascar team will not have enough time to prepare it. I don't know how about your side, but from our side, it's really tricky. Like, uh, you know, uh, the players from Madagascar and also from the region of uh, the Indian Ocean will, will leave Madagascar tomorrow. So they will be there in uh, in Ghana maybe on Sunday and uh, I don't know if they have uh, enough time to 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 gather and uh, to to prepare well the, the game the other players from uh, Europe will be there uh, from uh, I don't know maybe the 31st of May 
uh, they be one day prior to the game, so it will be really tricky for for us. I think that um, Ghana, that uh, who played at home, and uh, we know that uh, it is one of the the the, the, the best team in uh, in Africa that will play the World Cup uh, in uh, Qatar in 2022. They will be the favorite of the um, the, the game. And uh, I think that uh, uh, it will be really hard for, for Madagascar to, to, to get uh, something there. But uh, I think uh, the team will try to, to, to get something. I, I don't know, but they are high. Uh, they are really a low uh, probability for Madagascar to, to get one point. But they, uh, I, I, I guess that they will fight. To, to get this point, which which, which will be really crucial uh, f- uh, when we will count the, the points at the end of the, the six games, mainly uh, regarding the points of Angola, which uh, will be maybe our uh, our uh, main rival in the group. Ash 101.1 FM, we're speaking to the former chief executive officer for the Madagascar National League. Ghana Hanka Kubu no, no, no. He's also a sports consultant. And um, we're talking to him about that big game coming off on Wednesday, the 1st of June, at the Cape Coast Stadium. Rakoto Mirando is his name. Now, Rakoto, having attested to the fact that uh, it's going to be a very difficult game for Madagascar, it means when Madagascar loses, you are not going to be surprised. Won't that, in a way, affect you that you've lost to the Black Stars and then moving forward subsequently, can that also be of a disadvantage to the Madagascar national team? Mm. Uh, I, I don't know. We will see. But um, uh, I think in, in general, in general, mm, uh, let's let's be honest. This game will be really hard for us. I, I will be honest. Because you know, in in March we didn't have the the opportunity to 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 to, to play some uh, international games or to make some gathering and uh, do some preparations. Uh, I be, I think that uh, it will be really hard for us. Black stars. We 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 heard the news uh, earlier, like uh, two days ago. Um, the staff, which I really um, admire, with uh, almost uh, local uh, coaches in the staff, it, it is really good to value the the coaches, the local coaches, the African coaches, and um, I think that um, Ghana will also use this game, the two games against Madagascar and then against uh, Central Africa to to prepare for uh, already for the the world cup and i also um, understand that um Ghana we play a, a tournament uh, later in uh, uh, yeah, within the in japan. Windows in japan yeah i, I think uh, there are uh, uh, there are so many points that um, that uh, show that Ghana is um, is ready, and uh, uh, Ghana would like to to take seriously uh, these games, which is not really the same in our side because of the context I told you, and uh, also that uh, against Ghana it will be like just uh, trying to 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 get. Uh, a good performance for us is one point, but then we will we'll ha- definitely have to fight hard against uh, Angola and uh, Central Africa. Rakoto Mirado, thanks so much for talking to HFM. Uh, we are most grateful. Like you said, um, you said they will be coming tomorrow, right? Uh huh. So some of some of the team will will leave tomorrow. Okay. Will leave Antananarivo, Madagascar tomorrow. They probably probably will be there in uh, in Ghana 
on Sunday. Okay. And uh, then the others from the Europe or from the, the Asia, they would be there maybe on, on Monday, something like that. And they would plan to do uh, two, uh, two trainings in, uh, in Ghana, maybe uh, on Tuesday and on Monday, something like that. Uh, I don't know if uh, it will be enough or not, but uh, you know, regarding the context, this is the best thing that uh, the, the Federation uh, has offered. Oh, okay. So, so like, like I said earlier on, thanks so much for talking to us, FM. Um, we, we are, we are praying that God gives the, the contingent traveling mercy so that um, mm -hmm. they can arrive in Ghana safely. Thanks so much, Mirando. Okay. Welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. And then you know, um, Rakoto Madu and our tenant canoe, Menko commercial.